What I want to talk about today is the fact that I hate where Christianity is going. It's really started to get to me more and more the more I think about it, and I don't like what it's become. Or maybe just Americanized Christianity has changed in the past few years, and I'm just now realizing that. But that sucks. We have all these things about, like, your best life now, and if you want to experience a God encounter, you need to do this. That's bullcrap, and we all know it, and that's the thing, and I'm, I'm tired of it. You need to have a God encounter. You need to you need to just let go and let God happen in your life. Well, what does that even mean? That doesn't make any sense to me. How am I supposed to just let... Oh, well, here you go. You take it from here. I'm, I don't understand. What, what does that mean? I don't understand how people can back this. It's just like, oh yeah, they're saying it from a pulpit. It must be right. And if it's not that, it's a sermon on like, well, you know, you really need to be speaking in tongues. You need to have the fire of God within you, speaking in tongues. And also, unnecessary. Do we really need to have sermons about this stuff? I heard a sermon. All three points were, you need to speak in tongues, you really need to speak in tongues, and you really, really need to speak in tongues. I was like 17 years old and I was wondering what was wrong with me? What am I doing wrong that God is saying, nope, you know, you're not one of my chosen people. I'm not going to let you do this. I didn't understand what was going on. And I'm so tired of hearing sermons about that. And I'm so tired of hearing just empty sermons that don't explain anything. When you get up and leave 10 minutes later, you're no different because the sermon wasn't affecting you at all. I'm tired of hour and a half long sermons that don't say anything. Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount in 14 minutes. You can read the entire Sermon on the Mount in 14 minutes. So why are all these sermons an hour and a half long? It's so unbelievably long and unnecessary. How about you just give me the one point that I need, the one point that's gonna make me change my life for that week. Then the next week, give me the second one. If I can't get the first point right, I'm not gonna get the second one. I'm not. But it's like all these pastors just want to get up there and talk and talk and talk and talk and hear themselves talk and I'm so tired of it. We can go to so many different conferences and we can read so many books, but if they're not explaining how to do something, then what's the point of even doing it? All of this is really just a culmination of one article that I read on a Christian website that was talking about living a, a particular way. Didn't explain how to do it, didn't anything like that, but basically that you need to have this in your life. You need to have this. You don't tell me how. I don't understand. So until we start preaching what we're supposed to be preaching, then I think we're just going to be stuck in this same position, nothing's going to change, and we're, we're going to wonder why people are just dying and going to hell. It's pretty simple. It's because we can't even get it right in the church. So how are we supposed to get it right in the world? And another thing that bothers me is the fact of how two-faced everybody is. It's just, it sucks because these people are pretty much normal for the most part. But as soon as you start talking to them about Christianity or anything, it's like, whoa, 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 I got to start using all these big words sanctification and glorification and magnification and anything else that ends in Asian. And I'm so tired of it. Just talk to me like a normal human being. Don't pump these things up. It doesn't change anything with us. All this fakeness just starts pouring out and it's just so irritating. Just be real with me. That's why it's so hard to reach youth now. It's because the youth understand that this is fake. They don't want anything fake. They want something real. So they're turning to the music because music is absolutely one of the most important things in a youth life. It's one of the most important things in my life because it's real, because it will always tell the emotion of the writer. But when you start talking to me and you start changing your personality when you're talking, I'm already done with you. And if you can't be real with me, you're not going to be real with anyone else. And that's why youth are saying, bye, I'll see you later. There's no point in me being here. This isn't real. They would rather be around something that's real than something that's just fake. And I understand completely. But if we can't even be honest with each other, then how are we going to go out into the world and change anything? We're not.